going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. All right. Welcome, everybody, to Collinwood, Tennessee. Carl's out of breath. Oh, Climb, yeah. Climbing the ladder over here. Ooh. Walked up at the last second. Um, we're struggling with our internet connection for whatever reason in Collinwood, which usually has wonderful reception up here. So I understand that the uh, service is going to be rough and the picture may look bad, but I'll upload a good copy tonight when the game's over. But um, this is your uh, one and two middle school Eagles playing against Collinwood. So this is the uh, fourth game of the season. Again, I got Carl Gramatico and Joe Calton with me. And uh, Joe, I think you got your rosters there in front of you. I'll let you take, take it from here. As they hand off to number 39. Looks like you got a almost a first down. I don't have a 39 for them. <laughs> We're off to a good start. We may have to just call their numbers. They sent me an odd-looking roster that had the year 2017 on it. Oh. But uh, – <laughs> All right. I assume it was just a, a bad header and that they it was the current roster. Well, they said on the intercom that they had to call out numbers because the yeah we sent the them format one. didn't open up. Knox run them a paper copy over there. It's number they fumble, for but them. they recover. This has got to be the earliest eighth grade night I have seen. Yes. In all of middle school sports, uh, first week of September in Collinwood just had their. Football and volleyball, eighth grade night. Yes. Collinwood does have the ball to start here. It is a third down and one. What a size difference from this week to last week with uh, <laughs> Wayne County. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if – I don't think Collinwood's played Wayne County just yet. It's a little bit of a size difference for sure. <clears throat> Handoff will be stopped in the backfield for a loss. That's a great, great read by Ollie Potts there. Prevent the running back from hitting that corner. We had Ollie Potts, Lucas Taylor, and Kimbrough in on that tackle. We'll bring it to fourth and four. It's good to see Lucas Taylor out there. He really earned his playing time last week. Yes, he did. So did Ollie Potts. Carl, we've had some wasp up here, so be on the lookout. I do have a can of wasp spray I'm if just, it gets too wild. I'm just glad we're in the shade and it's not raining. Well, I, we we're not in the shade when I was setting up. They will go for it here on this fourth and four. Looks like they're having a little confusion. Hand it off to a man in motion. He'll try to get the left side. Ah, looks like it's going to be close. It's going to be the way they spot the ball. Westwood says it. What? What? He didn't get it. <laughs> he was right there too. But they, they are going to get on the first, first down. We'll gave, be first and ten on that one from Collinwood's 49-yard line. Yeah, I don't think our stream is getting out, but we'll just act normal. Uh, cause I'll record, you know, record it and we'll upload it later. All I don't right. think anybody's able to watch it. It's definitely a nice day to play some football. It is. The weather is just absolutely gorgeous and fields all in the shade. So hopefully our players will take advantage of that. First down, Collinwood will hand it off up the middle. Be a good big gain on that first down. Be about nine yards. Bring up second and one. Kimbrough with the touchdown save and tackle right there. After the running back broke a couple tackles on that. That's what hurt us last week on defensive side of the ball was just missed tackles. Yes. Too, too many arm tackles. Nobody no wrapping around and hopefully that's something they worked on during practice this week and so far, though, there's already been three or four broken tackles already. Yeah, we need to figure out a way to make that initial hit, the 
you know, the first tackle we get. I mean, at least hold on to him. Wait till help comes by. Ball be a handoff around the left side. He'll be stuffed for a loss. Well, that was a good hit right there by Kimbrough. It's Kimbrough and Wheeler in on that tackle. Yeah. Bring up third down and four. Maybe uh, Elon Musk can uh, sponsor Exports Network and we get a little bit of Starlink up here. And That's what we need. I think he could get Will a cyber truck to haul all of his equipment. That would be, that'd be even better. Man, if somebody drives one of them in Columbia, that's the ugliest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I saw at least three of them on my recent trip to Arizona. Colin Wood will call a timeout there. You want to take a timeout with them, Will? Yeah, we'll take a timeout with them. Try to get your internet figured out. Be watching uh, middle school football on the Exports Network. If you're looking for the right someone to mow your property, do landscaping, dirt work, land clearing, fence row clearing, bush hogging, or gutter clearing, call Shape Me Up Lawn Care today, 931-244-0841. Make your lawn a legacy. At Legacy Lawn and Landscapes, we put more than 16 years of experience into your goals. We won't meet your expectations, we'll exceed them. We offer consultation, installation, maintenance, hardscapes, construction, and land clearing services. Owner John and Jamie Brewer with their team are dedicated to providing the highest quality landscape services to commercial and residential clients in Middle Tennessee. Service, teamwork, results. That's how you leave a legacy. All right, welcome back. As Collinwood has the ball here on Summertown's 49-yard line. About third and three. We'll hand it off to the right side. Nobody's out there. Nobody's out there. Be a big gain. Wow. Keeps going. What happened there? Finally shoved out of bounds. They sealed off the corner on that play. Looked like uh, Sam White, they got him sealed off and he was wide, he was open there, no linebacker support. Yeah. That was a lo long third down run there by Collinwood. I mean, it was a good play call by Collinwood. Will be a first and 10. Looks like they're about at the Eagle 23. Be the same play again around mm -hmm. the right side. Same results. That's just nice blocking by the receiver out there on the corner. He will gain about seven on that one. Six, be second and four. Coach Woods will take a timeout here for Summertown. That might be a good, good time to take a timeout right there. Yeah. Might be. Talk over your missed assignments and the blocking. All right, we'll be we'll be right back. Middle school football and the Exports Network. Hi there everyone, this is Ann Marr with Coldwell Banker Southern Realty. I want to say a great big thank you, Lawrence County, for voting me as your favorite realtor. What a huge honor this is to be voted this by my many clients, my friends, my peers, the people I love. I greatly appreciate all of you so much. I have loved working with many of you, some of you several times, and I look forward to meeting and working with many more of you in the future. I promise to give you 110% of my time, attention, and expertise to make your sale or purchase happen. Just give me a call at 931-242-2643. And let's talk. All right, we're back. Collinwood does have the ball at the Eagle 15-yard line. Second down and three. Hand the ball off, he'll run up the middle. We'll get the first down. They'll still be able to get a first down inside the three. Or one yard line, looks like maybe the one. Looks like, but they will be able to get a first down. Yes, yeah, first and 10 from the 11. Took that marker guy forever to walk his 10 yards. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> 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 be 
Be a handoff around the left side. She Kimbrough. brought down by Kimbrough yeah. there on a diving shoestring just, grab. Just got that foot. He only picked up about two yards on that play, so it'll be second down and eight. They're attacking the edges. They are. The left and right side edges, and they'll mix up with the play every once in a while up the middle, but they're really trying to use that speed on the edges to get on the outside, and it's worked so far this, this drive. About 2.15, two 2.16 to go in the first. They've had the ball the whole time in this first quarter. Be a handoff. Try to go around the right side. He'll run into his own guy. That'll help us out a little bit. Yeah, it helped uh, Axel Heatherly tackle from behind. Looks like it's still seven yards to go here, so it'll be third and seven from the eight-yard line. You know, like we mentioned a minute ago, Carl, they can still get a first down here without scoring. Man in motion to the right. Well defended. Good job there. That was actually good coaching. I know, I know the viewers can't see it, but all the coaches were telling, it looked like they are yelling, Ollie and somebody else to get further out, get further out. And they sure did, and they were able to stop that play because of it. That was Tajan White on the tackle. Sorry, the joystick quit working. I couldn't move my camera. Sorry, guys. He done a good job to get out there and make that open field tackle because not for him. That would have been a touchdown. No. There we go. That might have been the first outside run we've stopped so far this drive. Yes. You know, that's what they've done this whole drive to get to where they're at is basically running it outside, you know. Collinwood's calling another timeout. Well, they're going to use all the timeouts up here in the first possession. 34 seconds to go in the first quarter. <laughs> all right. Well, we, we'll be right back. Stay, stay with us. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating, specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at number three Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today. All right, we're back. It is Collinwood's ball on, their, on the Eagles eight yard line. It's fourth down and seven. Big play here. He will drop back to pass. Will be caught Light for open. a touchdown. Colin Wood strikes first. It's a good play. Put a man in motion, confuse the defense. Our corner did what he did, come on out and, and took the far receiver. Nobody covered the guy in the inside, the inside slot receiver. Wide open middle of the field. Here's a replay. You know, that's the first pass play they've thrown the whole game, you know, the whole well, drive here. That was a good time to call it. That was. They'll go for the two-point conversion. Looks like he'll be stopped short. Nice stop. Good push by the defensive line that time. So that will make it Collinwood six, Summertown zero. Uh -huh. Collinwood will get ready to kick uh -huh. the ball off to Summertown here. Eagles are going to need to score more than they did last week in order to uh, win this one. Yes. So we'll be right back, see if they can answer. This is uh, Middle School Football on the Exports Network.
All right, we're back. Collinwood's getting ready to kick it off to Summertown. <laughs> Zoom in on this little guy here. That's a little dude. Says he is a seventh grader. Dakota Holt. Back deep to receive for the Eagles looks to be Peyton Kimbrough. And I'm assuming Carter Anderson. He going on side here. He had the receiving duties last week. Little pooch kick. Who retrieved that? Looks like number 21 would be Jack, Jack Cranston. Cranston. He made a good play on that ball. He did. You know, he let it bounce to him instead of trying to attack it there. So I think that was why he was able to catch it as easy as he did. A good starting position for the Eagles. He almost had a seam down the outside. He, he over did, there. yeah. Summertown will start off on offense here with 27 seconds to go in the first quarter. Wilson will be under center. Be a handoff to wide up the middle. Still moving. <laughs> keep pushing, boys. Keep pushing. That was a great push, though, by the offensive line. He'll gain about eight on that run. Myself. White probably didn't get hit till the first four yards of the of the run. And then they pushed him another four yards. Bring up second down and two. We're on, the Eagles are on Collinwood's 35-yard line. You know, that's a good job there by the rest of the Eagle team to get behind him and so help him. So, mm -hmm. so now it's the end of the first quarter. It is the end of the first quarter. All right, moving right along. Eagles trail 6 nothing. We'll be back for the second quarter. This is Middle School Football on the X-Force Network. Mac Brown has been providing photographic services for 55 years. During that time, Mac Brown photographers have photographed children, seniors, weddings, schools, musicians, and commercial businesses. The studio takes great pride in producing quality photographs and services for its many clients. While the studio has adapted as times have changed, their goal of providing excellent photography has remained constant. For more information or to schedule an appointment, visit their website at macbrownphoto.com or give them a call at 931-762-4263. Let the professionals at Mac Brown Photography turn your memories into treasures. For high school athletes, every game counts. All right, we're back. We'll start the second quarter off here. Eagles going the other way now. Eagles are on Collinwood's 35-yard line. It is second down and two. Wilson under center. Be a fake handoff up the middle. He'll get hit in the backfield, but he picks up maybe one yard on that. Collinwood read that play pretty well. They did. They didn't, they fall. Read it they didn't good. fall for the fake at all. We'll be third down and one. Man in motion, they'll hand oh, it off nice to White. Play. He'll run it down the left side, get to about the 13 yard line. Nice hole on the left side right there. They'll mark him out at the 12, will be a first down. Some of the offensive linemen there all cheering and jumping up and down right there because they, they absolutely did their job on that play. They did what they were supposed to right yeah, there. That was a good hole. job. It will be first and 10 on the 12. So Summertown can still get a first down here. Wilson under center, have a man in motion, I'll hand it off up the middle to White. He'll take it around the right side. Look at that. Nice. He'll run it in for a Summertown touchdown. That was literally the same play. They just ran opposite formation there in the same hole on the right side of the line was wide open. Here it is again. It's a good job there by the offensive line to make that hole. That's a big hole. I think I could have scored with that yeah. hole. Yeah, let's give a Offensive line props this whole whole drive here. Good job there by the offensive line. 
Eagles going for two. Will be Wilson under center. Looks like he's got three men behind him. Defense. Awesome. Got encroachment. Didn't see it. That'll move us up one yard, I guess. Yeah, half the distance to the goal. <laughs> change the play up here Got one man in the backfield now Wilson under center he'll keep it himself he'll get in there for a two-point conversion all right bring your score Summertown eight Collinwood six good job there by the Eagles on that first drive well the Eagles responded uh, now defense has to come out and make a stop so we'll have that for when we come back it is middle school football on the exports network there are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available on the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. All right, welcome back. The Eagles will be kicking it off here to Collinwood. So, Carl, NFL starts tonight. Hey, you got the Chiefs and the Ravens. Chiefs and Ravens. Chiefs are going for three in a row. Back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. Yeah. Lamar's trying to get over the hump, get that, get that, uh, get that Super Bowl win. Everybody's he's getting, he's getting paid like it. <laughs> so he's got a lot of pressure on him. Looks like everybody's trying onside kicks tonight. Yeah, that was a. I'd say the surprise is is no longer there, so they'll be kicking away this time. Yeah, I'm not. Did they not blow it ready? I don't think. I, I think that's what it is. I think they they took off too soon. I don't think that all the refs were in position yet. So that might take the element of our surprise away on that. Yeah. Yeah, Collinwood's bringing up a guy now. Like Kimbro teased the ball back up. He'll kick it to the oh the turf monster. He kicked it to about the thirty, the twenty-eight yard line there, and the kid caught it and tripped over his own feet oh. and went down. So it didn't have very good of a return there. Looked like he might have had a good hole over there on that left side if he could have stayed on his feet. Summertime will definitely take the break that they're gonna. They just received now. We just gotta play some defense. Gotta hold them. That's right. Gotta prevent them from uh, breaking the edges. That's where they got all their big plays uh, last drive was on the edges. Collinwood will start their second drive on their own 30. They will hand it off. He'll take it around the left side. Nice job by Summertown to bow that up after a couple yards. He'll gain about three on that carry. It'll be second down and seven. It's a lot better job gang tackling over there. We didn't have just one guy trying to bring him down. Man in motion, hand it off, and we'll go around the right side. Be hitting the backfield, but he'll gain a few yards. There's that arm tackle. Hmm. He'll pick up three more on that one. That's a seven-yard difference right there. If we, we get them from the backfield to, to where we got them now. Yes. The instead initial. Of, yeah, instead of third and ten, now it's third and four. But it, nevertheless, we still stopped them, made a good stop, making it third and four, making it tough on them. Got to try to stop them right here. Hopefully the Eagles watch a lot of tape on them during practice this week because they're showing many formations so far and they're, and they're running it in different directions off all those multiple formations. 
Yes, they it's gotta are. It's got to be confusing for the safeties out there trying to figure out wh who's going where and where the ball's going. They'll hand that ball up the middle. Will be stopped short. Looks like it'll be about fourth and one. That was Axel Heatherly tackling them from behind off the corner. Good job there by the Eagles to stop him short of the first down. Good field position. We can stop them right here. They'll hand the ball back up the middle. Oh, hit at the line. It's going to be a spot. That'll be tough. Oh. They're calling it a first down. They there. are going to get it to them. They're telling them to move the markers. That was a quick spot right there. That was – the contact was right at the line. Well, that's twice now that's happened. Suits. I don't know if you can tell anything from the replay or not. I mean, he's got a hole, but uh, yeah. Wills Lincoln, yeah, Lincoln, and Lincoln covered it pretty quick. It looked like the ball got to about the 40 right there on that hit. Just a little late. <laughs> he is going off the field limping over there. Hoping that's just a cramp for him. Will be a first and 10. Collinwood has the ball on their own 40. Ball will go around the left side. Kimbrough will lose his foot in trying to make the hit. But he did a nice job. He he made the running back cut back in the inside where all our help was at. And that was a nice job by Kimbrough. Looks like they'll pick up two on that carry. Make it second down and eight. Looks like that player that ran is a little shook up over there in the huddle. Yeah, he's holding his lower back, ain't he? Yeah, he he got hit there at the end of that play pretty hard. There ain't no padding right there. Like he kind of spun as he was going down and got hit. But See what the defense has dialed up here. Be a quarterback key. He'll go around the left side, pick up maybe one. be third and seven. Nice read by the linebackers on that. Defensive line is doing a good job keeping the offensive line from pushing them off the ball. Another good thing, another good thing Coach West is doing from continuation of last week, subbing those defensive players in. Yes, two, every is. snap or two, every two snaps. He's subbing two or three he's players. And at now. least two fresh guys out there, letting two of them get a break. You know, it might not be big right now, but when it comes down to the end of that fourth quarter, that's – if you can keep doing that, that's that's big. Absolutely, especially the way Collinwood is running the ball right now. Yes. You definitely want that defensive line in good shape at the end of the game. Ball will be passed, oh, almost oh, intercepted. Oh. We had two well, guys there that both got their hands on it. And, and Lincoln Wilson and Sam White. I think they knocked it away from each they, other there. They absolutely did, Joe. And that's what happened there. i bring up a fourth and seven. Some of these defensive linemen, they're playing offense too. Yes. So they, they you know, they really need a breather. I couldn't tell who that was that got in the backfield on that, but the quarterback got hit as he threw that ball. Yeah, I didn't see it either. I was watching the pass. Looks like Colin Woods calling another timeout. That will be their <laughs> final timeout. <laughs> well, I say everybody's playing both ends of the ball. They're tired. They've got to use these timeouts. Mm -hmm. We've got 149 left to go in the second quarter. Uh, again, I know, folks, that our service is terrible tonight. Uh, I hope we can get it fixed for the end of the night, but I'm not positive. All right, we'll be right back. Middle School Football on the Exports Network.
Arctic Air keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry. All right, we're back. Collinwood has the ball on their own 43. It is fourth and seven. Will be a pass. Well, he had to be hurried. Will be incomplete. That will be a turnover on downs. Summertown will take over on Collinwood's so 43. They got good pressure on the QB there. Yeah, good Joey, coverage downfield. Joey Wheeler. I, was say, I believe that was big 44 there, Joey Wheeler. Here's a replay. He get in the backfield and get his hands up. It's going to be hard to get a throw <laughs> down the field. Yeah. Quarterback did not have very much time there. Still got a good throw off, though. He did. It was it was a good, good pass there. It just went into no man's land. Summertown will take over here. These officials are on it tonight, Will. Man, they are just they gone. Are. We'll be first and 10, Collinwood's 43-yard line. Hand it off up the middle. Oof. White will be brought down. That was almost a touchdown saving grab right there. It was. I don't even want to call it a tackle because it wasn't a tackle. That, that was like he grabbed his jersey yeah. on his shoulder pad yeah. and just wrestled him down. That was a Hail Mary. Close your eyes. Please grab onto something. <laughs> he did pick up three on that, so it'll be second down and seven. Uh, minute 22. They got to hurry, though. Man, almost half time already. Let's see if they run the same play but to the right side this time. Wilson under center. He'll keep it around the left side. Got a He's got wide daylight. open sideline over here. Go out of bounds. Go out of bounds. He will be thrown out of bounds about yep. the 21-yard line. They gave him the out, they gave him the out of bounds. Minute old, minute four left. We'll be first and ten from Collinwood's 21-yard line. 104 to go in the half. They're winding the clock. They didn't give him the out of bounds. They just stopped it for the, the first, first down. Time, yeah. We'll be a man in motion. Hand off up the middle to White. Cut it back. Cut He'll it cut outside. it back to the right side. The He'll lose the ball. fumble. Good call. I think this recovered by Summertown. Summertown will recover that. Yep. Thankfully. We'll be second down and one. 45 seconds to go. We got lucky on that one, recovering our own fumble. Yes, we did. Especially inside a minute, inside the 20-yard line. Clock's running. We're down to 30. We will receive the ball after halftime. Quarterback will keep it. Oh, he's got him. He had him. He'll throw open. it to the end zone. Oh. It will be intercepted. He waited too long. He had him. He had. He had Sam White open in the, in the end zone for a second. Didn't see him. He's looking to his left. Sam was up the middle in the middle of the field, and then he when he finally threw it, he just threw it too late, and uh, the safety count came over and got the pick on that. That's a flag, but it's after the interception. He did bring it out to about the five yard line there. There was a flag on the play afterwards that's a, that's a killer right there looks like it's on collinwood looks like they're backing the ball yeah, up. i think it might have been a little unsportsmanlike after the interception 10 seconds to go that's so, all i mean well, that, that was a killer that was just a killer right there of course collinwood's not where they can take a knee now are they they're on it looks like they're going to spot it at the We'll be at the three. three. Yeah. So I guess if he's directly under yeah, center. Yeah, either near it or just lunge forward, do that little tush push that they do and the, uh, the Eagles do. Yeah. <laughs> Colin Wood will have it, first and ten. They're running a shotgun. From their own That's two. Woo. He'll run it out to about the five-yard line. That's risky, though, to run shotgun like that. It is. That'll if that snap gets over your head. Yeah, that's a, it would. 
All right. After the first half, Summertown eight, Collinwood six. Summertown will go to their little corner of the field for halftime. <laughs> so these middle school kids don't get locker rooms uh, on their on the road very often. It don't look like Collinwood's going to a locker room either. They're going no, they got to walk up too many there. stairs to get. They get too tired going upstairs to get to their locker room. So, all right. Well, that takes us to halftime. I'm going to keep working on this internet service. See what's going on. But we'll be back for a second half action. You're watching Middle School Football on the Exports Network. Accounts to a full suite of business and commercial banking with Treasury Management Services. We'll make sure you'll have a dedicated Biltwell banker that understands your unique needs and stands by you every step of the way. No matter where you are in Tennessee or Northwest Georgia, there's likely a Biltwell bank location nearby. Come see us and let our dedicated financial team help you with all of your banking needs. Member FDIC. Back to school means back to savings at Heritage Automotive Center in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Act fast to grab incredible deals on new vehicles priced below invoice and pre-owned cars listed way below market value. Need help with payments? The friendly finance team is ready to assist with zero down, bad credit, or even no credit at all. Not looking for a new vehicle? Heritage is still your go-to for guaranteed exceptional service, parts, or auto body repair. Visit HeritageGM.com. Heritage Automotive. Expect more. Experience the difference. Arts, crafts, stationery, journals, books, educational toys, wrapping paper, devotionals, greeting cards, and much more can all be found at Paper and Thread in downtown Lawrenceburg. Shop local to find the perfect gift or have a custom gift basket made for just the right occasion. Paper and Thread has a party room now available for birthdays, classes, and so much more. We could go on and on about all the neat things you'll find at Paper and Thread, but you just need to hop in your car and head down there. 106 North Military Avenue in Lawrenceburg is where you'll find them and discover what makes Paper and Thread awesome. That's Paper and Thread in downtown Lawrenceburg, 106 North Military Avenue, just north of the square. Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg has a legacy of being a family-owned and operated company. Since 1927, our business has grown and evolved into today's one-stop source for all your automotive supplies. But in that time, one thing has stayed the same, and that's our commitment to our customers and their needs. At Volco Auto Supply, you'll find everything for your car, truck, or even fleet of vehicles, but with good, old-fashioned customer service the way it needs to be. That's Volco Auto Supply, 416 Buffalo Road in Lawrenceburg. Visit VolcoAuto.com. As a business owner and a supplier of pressure-treated materials, we have customers all over the country, but the relationships that I'm most proud of are the ones in our own community, the people that I serve, that I meet at Walmart, that I run into on the weekends. Those are the ones that I'm really proud of today. When we started Finley Fence Supply almost 15 years ago, we decided to build our business on three core values, quality, value, and service. And Old South uh, has proven to be a, a great partner. Their values match ours. Uh, their quality is great every time. We, by using Old South material, we can give our customers great value for their money and their service is unsurpassed. Anything that we need, they are Johnny on the spot to supply. It's been a great partnership with us and Old South. There's no job too big or too small for Gonzales Lawn and Landscapes. Owner Chris Gonzales works hard to make your commercial or residential properties one of the neighbors will envy. You won't find a lower price anywhere else, and that's a guarantee. We offer mowing, landscape removal, small construction jobs, and more. Our team is licensed and insured to ensure the best work for Lawrence County and surrounding areas. Your satisfaction is our go. We won't leave until you're happy. Call today to set up a free quote.
Professional care with a smile. That will always be a guarantee at Encompass Healthcare. Whether you're looking for primary or urgent care, x-ray services, or even weight loss treatments, our team is equipped to serve your needs. Our doors are open Monday through Thursday from 8 to 5. Make an appointment with our providers, Kendra Brown or Tori Cox, today. Encompass Healthcare, located on Highway 43 North in Etheridge, Tennessee, right next to Chapman Tire. Top quality equipment rentals at the right price. It's not too good to be true at Rent Right Equipment and Sales. We guarantee clean, reliable products that are up to your standards. Our family owned business has been doing that for more than 40 years. Let our friendly and knowledgeable staff take care of you from purchase to maintenance. Saws, drills, lifts, mowers, generators, you name it, we've got it. Stop by and see our inventory today, located on Buffalo Road in Lawrenceburg. Make your lawn a legacy. At Legacy Lawn and Landscapes, we put more than 16 years of experience into your goals. We won't meet your expectations, we'll exceed them. We offer consultation, installation, maintenance, hardscapes, construction, and land clearing services. Owner John and Jamie Brewer with their team are dedicated to providing the highest quality landscape services to commercial and residential clients in Middle Tennessee. Service, teamwork, results. That's how you leave a legacy. There's a reason owners Tyler and Cindy McDowell chose the name In Service for their towing business. They did because it's their goal to be in service for you on the day that you need them the most. In Service Towing is now known far and wide for their response time because minutes matter when you're broken down. Or their 24-7 availability, you can call them anytime for service. Their professional team with years of experience and their fairness, plus their know-how in dealing with the unexpected. But the thing that In Service is known best for is how they treat their customers, and that's like family. When you need them, call them, 931-843-9098. You know, Storing Lee Furniture is not just some huge chain store, but we do have a 144,000 square foot showroom right here in Leoma, Tennessee. The Story family has worked together in the business for over 50 years now, and a familiar face is here to help you with whatever you need. That's what being a part of the community right here in the Tennessee Valley means. And if you have an issue, we're right here to take care of it. And don't forget free delivery. We invite you to come see us. We're Story & Lee Furniture. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability. Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf and this is Hustler Country. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds, let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating, specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. 
Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at number three Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today. Why should you bank with Employee Resources Credit Union? We offer a wealth of services, including mobile banking, video banking, bill pay, and more. We also offer loan rates that are lower than those of our competitors. Employee Resources Credit Union has been a financial pillar since 1964, providing longtime support to members of the community. Join us and become part of the ERCU commitment, not for profit, for service. Welcome to Employee Resources Credit Union, where you're more than just a number, you're family. We provide financial solutions that rise above those of traditional banks. With roots stretching back to 1964, we've served four generations during constant industry changes. We're known for our low fees and incredible rates. Join us and experience the credit union difference. ERCU, not for profit, for service. Moment in real estate with my dad, Jeff Lee. You know, I get asked a lot about what the market's going to do, how's the real estate market. I've been selling real estate for a long time, and nobody has a crystal ball. And you know what? When it's your time to buy or your time to sell, it really doesn't matter what the market's doing. It's your time, and you have to do something, maybe. What makes a difference is the agents and the experience that go to work for you. We're Keller Williams Hood Company, located here in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We can help. Hood Company, powered by Keller Williams, the number one name in real estate. At Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, we're proud to be locally owned and operated because we're not just a bank, we're family. When you call, you'll be greeted by a friendly representative who's ready to discuss your banking needs as well as offer our competitive rates on CDs and money market accounts. Our loan decisions are made in-house and never sold to a secondary market because our commitment is simple. You matter to us. At Lawrenceburg Federal, we offer all the conveniences of larger banks with a personal touch. Join us at Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, where community, trust, and service come together. Efficiency, reliability, accuracy. Move forward with your real estate sale or purchase with title and escrow of Lawrence County, the most experienced closing team around. Working with clients locally and throughout the state, we offer a wide range of services, including the expertise of an on-staff attorney, backed by our more than 49 years experience in titles and closings. We get the job done on time at a fair price and ensure every last detail is correct. Our goal is to give you peace of mind. When you work with us, you work with people who live where you do. We understand the importance of the real estate community and strive to build strong relationships with all parties involved in the process. Whether you're buying a home, selling a business, acquiring land, or anything in between, you're in good hands with title and escrow of Lawrence County. Put the most experienced closing team on your side. Contact title and escrow of Lawrence County today. At CMB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CMB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CMB Linen because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CNB Linen. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop Services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. 
Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gaines Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through all of life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life, accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize plans for every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987, contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery for furniture, appliances, and more. And shop quality, shop convenience, shop service, shop local. A family-owned business with a long history of serving the region. We're a one-stop home furnishings destination. We feature brands you know, competitively priced, backed by professional installation and service. You can trust that we'll take good care of you before and after the sale. For your home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery today. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of The Summit, and we would like to invite you and your family to come into our facility. We would love to see you here. Hey guys, I'm Kyle Hammock, general manager here at Heritage Automotive, your Chevy GMC dealer in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. I am from Marshall County, Tennessee, where I went to Cornersville High School. Uh, I attended Cumberland University. Um, after Cumberland, I went into the United States Marine Corps to serve the country. After that, I went right back into the car business. I'm very familiar with the car business. I have been around the car business pretty much my entire life. And my commitment to you is to ensure the most competitive new and used vehicle pricing on the market, as well as the best service around. Well, we'll treat you like family here at Heritage Automotive in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're gonna put the mower or your ATV or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than quality storage buildings located right All right, we are back. Hopefully, he's still online. I'm trying Joe's Verizon phone. Just try to let everything. Nothing's working up here tonight. Something's really odd. Uh, Joe, even your phone's starting to break up now. I don't I know. I see that. Yeah. Second half sponsored by Starlink. Getting <laughs> get the right internet connection 24 7 and across the United States. Uh, but I've tried school, their school Wi-Fi. I've tried our T-Mobile hotspot from Xports. Tried my phone's AT&T hotspot. Tried my work's AT&T hotspot. Tried Joe's iPhone. Verizon. And everything is showing five bars here and nothing's working, so I don't know. Summertown will receive the second half kickoff. 
first time they kicked off, they, they tried an onside kick that didn't work. So we'll see what happens here. The chain guys are running across from the other side. Summertown does have Kimbrough and I believe that's Carter. Carter. Yeah, it's Carter. Up Carter there. Anderson back deep to receive. Just like you mentioned, Carl, if they kick it like they did to begin the game, them two won't see the football here. No. Nope. They will kick it. Little pooch. Fairly deep. Carter will pick it up on the left side over there. He's got room around that left side. Nice Makes a move. move. Right. Across the 50. He'll run it into Collinwood territory. We'll be on the Collinwood 48. Smart decision to bounce it to the outside. And then he had a nice little spin move, little little juke move from. A good job over there. College football 2024. 20, Push the C button. Yeah. <laughs> Eagles will have the ball here on the Collinwood's 48 yard line. The difference in this game is Summertown converted their two point convert uh, version and um, Collinwood did not. Collinwood helped Summertown out there and gave us that extra yard on that defensive offsides during our two-point uh, conversion. That's true. We'll have Wilson under center. Man in motion. To hand it off to White. Get the run. Another good push by the offensive line. They, they've been playing. I mean, we've only had two series and so far. This is the third series of the game, but they have completely dominated that side of the ball tonight. They have done a really good job up front for sure. We'll be about second down and six. Hand off to White up the middle again. He'll get a good push there. Looks like it'll be enough for a first down. Nicely done. Great hole. Great hole on that left side of the center. Will be a Summertown first down. Ball's on the Collinwood 38-yard line. I have a man in motion. Hand it back up the middle to White, and he'll be stopped in the backfield on that carry. Collinwood sent everybody that play. The only one left in the backfield was a safety. Everybody was in within the first five yards of the line of scrimmage on that play. They were, they are now just going to be dedicated to stopping this run. It looks like we did lose a yard there. It will be second and 11. Looking on, looking like Collinwood's formation here. They've got 10 guys in the box already. Yeah, they're stacking the box yeah. for sure. We'll go to a little different formation here on offense. We'll get a man in motion. There'll be a pitch to the left side. Good blocking. He'll try to get outside and turn the corner, but he can't. Yeah. Looks like he'll make it to about the 35 yard line. Just ran out of field that time. Be about third down and seven. We'll hand it back off to White. <sighs> Tries to get around the right edge, mm -hmm. but he can't. Be stopped. Looked like somebody about missed a, their block. He got back to the line of scrimmage there on that one. It'll be about fourth and seven. They tried pulling the guard on that play. I think it was uh, Mason Flowers they pulled, and I think he just missed his block. You know, big play right here. We need to try to convert this fourth down. Yeah, this might be the only time we see the ball this quarter. <laughs> yes. We definitely don't want to get rid of the ball right here. Will be a fake. Wilson will keep it around the right He's edge. Got daylight. Nice block. He will get down the right side. And he'll get out of bounds about the 10 yard line. Nice rollout by Wilson. We'll make it first and goal for Summertown. Finally, use my end zone camera. 
Yeah, we're finally down there, Will. <laughs> All the action's been on the other side. That was a nice play because the, yeah. the uh, wide receiver on that side ran a post, which took the corner completely out of that play, which left that whole right side of the field just wide open. And Wilson read it and, and took advantage of it. There's a good block on this side by Anderson there to hit that linebacker. Will be another keeper to the left. Let's see if he can beat that corner. He'll stiff on uh, him. Flag on the play. I believe it was holding around that edge over there. Looked like he got to about the six yard line on that carry, but we'll see what the flag does here. Yeah, holding. They called holding. I you know, probably not the angle for you to see what it is on the replay. I couldn't yeah, tell. it's hard. It's too too many people. Yep. First and goal. First and goal from the 16, 17 yard line. Will be a handoff up the middle. Might pick up two on that play. Will be second and 15 pretty much. Collinwood's making an inside run hard now with all the people that are playing in the box. Yeah, they are. Snap. Gonna have to try to work it back outside here. We can work it back out a few more times. Maybe it'll open that middle back up. That fake option with 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 Wilson. Oh. Wilson, a man in motion. Will be a pitch around the right side. Made one man miss, but got hit by two more right after that. Well, that was just good pursuit by Collinwood right there. He'll pick up. Yeah, uh, maybe one. Be third and goal from the 15. We'll hand it off to White. He'll run it around the left side. Big hit. That corner wanted nothing to do with him. <laughs> he run. He, he ran. He 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 ran right at that corner. That corner wanted nothing to do with him. That was a good run by him. Great aggressive run. Well, that was a good job. We'll be fourth and goal from maybe the six yard line. Yeah, he just kind of backed up <laughs> out of the way. He said, no, thank you. <laughs> I don't get paid enough. <laughs> I seen him fall, and I thought White hit him, but he just kind of stepped out of the way and fell down. Which I can't blame him. Looks like there's timeout on uh, Summertown. I don't think they had the right personnel out there. I don't think they did either. 3.18 to go in the third quarter. All right, we'll take a quick time out with them. You're watching Summertown Middle School Football on the Exports Network. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. All right, welcome back. Big play here, clearly. It is fourth and goal from the six-yard line. You know, we've started not been able to run it up the middle there, Carl. Mm -hmm. Got to try to get something outside. Maybe maybe they'll open the middle back up for us. Summertown's done a good job adjusting to it as they continue to move down the field. Will be that fake. Wilson will bring oh. it around the right edge, throw it get to the there. end zone. Did he catch it? They're going to give it to him? Will be caught touchdown. by Cooper Burleson in the end zone. Cooper Burleson. Summertown touchdown. 
Nice catch. I'm pretty sure that's his first football catch and his first touchdown. Congratulations, young man. Let's see if we got a replay yeah, of this. Good job hey. there. He had to go down and get that football. Yeah, that, and be he was behind him. The yeah, it was behind him and low. He did a good job there. And good job by uh, Wilson there, too. He bought Scrambling. time to get him yeah. open. Summertown will go for two. We'll have a man in motion, hand off up the middle to White. Great he push. will power his way in. Great push by the offensive line. Well, yep. That makes it a two-score game. That will make it 16-6. to six. Summertown does have a 10-point lead. They will get ready to kick the ball off to Collinwood here with three minutes to go in the third quarter. You want to watch, watch it in, in slow, slow motion. Thank you. Thank nice you. Got his hands under it. He did. The referee he, said he did. His body kind of shields <laughs> him, but if you look right before you, the body kind of takes it out of the view, his hands his hands are underneath the ball. You know, that's a good job there by Wilson to be able to roll you know, out and make that. Throw. I mean, he's been playing all of four weeks, so. Yes. Good job there. That's probably the first Burleson that has. Scored any points of any football game at Summertown? <laughs> oh, probably. History. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's been a middle school, high school Burleson that's uh, scored in uh, football. I might be corrected on that. Summertown will kick the ball off here to Collinwood, and if this goes the way it's been going, <laughs> we will not see the ball again for in the third <laughs> quarter. Well, they're going to have to. They, you know, they can't just keep running the running clock now. Uh, Collinwood can't. Well, no, they, they've yeah. got to score twice now. Kimbro will kick that ball deep. It will bounce in front of the return man. He'll pick it up and be brought down hey. by Lucas Good. Taylor. Lucas Taylor. At the 31-yard line. Good job there, Lucas. Very nice tackle by Lucas Taylor. Will be Collinwood's ball, first and 10 from their 31-yard line. Yeah, look at that. If he don't, if he don't land that tackle, um, he's probably getting another ten yards. I was going to say there was a lot of room over here if he would have yeah. got past Lucas. Good job there by Lucas. You know they had that throw earlier for a touchdown. I wonder if they try to do a little more passing here now that they're down by ten. Will be a quarterback. He'll pitch it to the right. I uh, missed that one. Lucas just missed him. No just late hits. He will get about six, uh, maybe five out of that. We'll be second and five. Lucas read that play very well. Just was unable to make the play. He did. He was but there. he did it. He did it enough though to where his his guys can come back behind him and, and make the tackle. Nope, there's balls bubble. on the ground. Bumble. Looks like Summertown does ground. recover. Really. I believe yes, that is they earned the Caden. Big Joey Wheeler get in there and yep. recover that football. He might have been the one to force the fumble as well. Boom, right there. Yeah. I don't know if, did he ever complete the I handoff? I don't know that he ever completely but, had the handoff. But but he did enough to. Joey did get back there and hit that running yeah, back. Either had the running back take his eyes off the ball because he was right there, or is that, or is that he didn't get a clean handoff and then Joey hit him and that caused the ball to knock out. So Good job there. Summertown will take over. They are on Collinwood's 34-yard line. We'll be first and 10. We'll be a handoff to wide up the middle. Might get two out of the play. We'll be second down and eight. Hear our cheerleaders loud and clear from way up here. Go 
can hear the coaches from up here too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Will be a handoff around the left side. That was a good read by that linebacker, good number 54. He read that and clogged that hole up. And Looks like he's going to get one out of that. We'll be third down and seven. Yeah, seven or a long six. We'll hand it back off up the middle. You get a push there of maybe four or five yards. It's a tough run right there. Of course, the big thing is they've taken off of uh, two and a half minutes, almost three minutes. We'll be about fourth and three. Yeah. I'll make a prediction. I think they're going to let Lincoln run this one. <laughs> Let's see. Well, they got five men on the defensive line. They've gone from four men to five men. With the safety up front, three linebackers. Yep, there you go. Yeah. We'll get Collinwood to jump off sides there. Free first down. And now you can run another three minutes off the clock. Mm -hmm. You'll, you'll, end, you'll uh, end this quarter and take some off the next. That will be a Summertown first down. As the ball's spotted at the Collinwood 22 yard line. Let that clock run as much as you're allowed. Collinwood's almost playing like a 46 defense. They got six, six defensive linemen. Uh, bobbled snap. Wilson still got it positive yards out of it. About three yards on that. All those defensive linemen, we still got a great push by our offensive line. <laughs> yeah, our offense and defensive line has worked really hard tonight in this game. You know, you've seen big pushes on both sides, offensively and defensively. Mason Flowers and Max Chapman come off the field. They played a very physical style on that on that line tonight. That's end of the third quarter. All right. Two-score lead up 16-6. to six. That was a nice quarter by the, both the offense and the defense. It was. Good job there. All right. Well, we'll be right back for the fourth quarter. You're watching Middle School Football on the Exports Network. Smith, Marion Matthews, Brooklyn Bates, or Michelle Staggs to find out how we can help you. Located at 208 Kalaski Street, phone 931-244-6633. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? What about a fresh coat of paint? Even a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244. 4602. Truitt's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truett's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truett's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family owned and operated. All right, welcome back. It's the start of the fourth quarter. Summertown get a man in motion. They'll hand it off up the middle to White. He'll rumble his way forward. <laughs> nice run. To about the four-yard line. Nice run. A couple nice collisions, and he kept he kept his feet chugging. And Good job yeah. there by White. He he runs downhill a lot, and I like that. You know, he's a power running back for sure. We got an injured Summertown Eagle, uh, Jax Cranston. 
Huh. Does it look, look like cramps? It, it might be a cramp, hopefully. Hopefully. Looks like a he cramp. was hard hard time walking and Well we'll uh we have a uh, score update. Uh in county uh Loretto is playing Wayne County tonight. Uh, Loretto's hosting Wayne County. Remember Wayne County thumped us pretty good last week. Yes. Um, and at this moment, what do we say? Uh, Waynesboro is leading Loretta 16-14. 16 16 16 so yeah. it's a pretty even matchup there. I'll try to get that on the screen here for you. Uh, Exports isn't streaming it tonight, but the Wayne County crew that does such a good job, they're streaming it tonight. And so we'll try to show that to you. Of course, Loretto is where the high school team for Summertown will be next week. Next right? week. So there it is. Um, Wildcats are leading the Mustangs 16 to 14. Um, it looks like they might still be in the third quarter. Summertown will have the ball here, first and goal from the four yard line. Well, Wilson will keep that one himself untouched. for a touchdown yeah. there. It's like they didn't consider the possibility he might do that. He just ran right through it. Now either that or the offensive line did a great job opening up a I hole mean, for him. Even the lead back black, uh, white, he didn't even get touched. Well, look here. <laughs> yeah, the lead block didn't get touched. Well, look at that. Wow. Great hole. Good, good <laughs> job <laughs> there by the offense. By Tyson Crosby and, and uh, Workman. Great job. Summertown will line up to go for two. We'll hand it to White up the middle. I don't that think he kind of made it. Oh, yeah, he didn't stop. He said that wasn't going to happen again. Conversion was no good, but Summertown does have the 22 to 6 lead. That's 7.40 to go. And when, um, you know, these short quarters, it's tough to come back. So, uh, but we'll go ahead and take a commercial break. Things going well here. It is Middle School Football on the Exports Network. Hi there, everyone. This is Ann Marr with Colwell Banker Southern Realty. I want to say a great big thank you, Lawrence County, for voting me as your favorite realtor. What a huge honor this is to be voted this by my many clients, my friends, my peers, the people I love. I greatly appreciate all of you so much. I have loved working with many of you, some of you several times, and I look forward to meeting and working with many more of you in the future. I promise to give you 110% of my time, attention, and expertise to make your sale or purchase happen. Just give me a call at 931-242-2643, and let's talk. All right, we're back. Summertown lines up to kick it off here to Collinwood. We'll be kicked to about the 35. He'll be brought down about the 41-yard line. Gang tackle. Good job there by the Eagles. Had led, several. Led by uh, Jackson Grammatico and I think Heatherly, Heatherly. maybe. Yep. Good job there by the kickoff team. <coughs> yeah, Collinwood's welcome to run as much time off the clock as they want now like they did in the first quarter. Yeah, this, this half hasn't gone as fast as the uh, mm -hmm. the first half did. First half took 30 minutes. <laughs> Collinwood will start here first and 10 on their own 41-yard line. It will be a handoff around the right side. Nice be pursuit. Met in the backfield there. That by, I think that's Bun. Bun, yeah. Yeah, remember Bun from last week? When he got in in the Waynesboro game, he was in almost on every play once yes, he got he in. There he goes again. That's the little engine that could right there. Second <laughs> down and 10. Didn't gain anything there. Here it is. He uh, gets by the first guy right there, but then boom. Bun come <laughs> in from that linebacker position. He <laughs> yeah. read it all the way and was untouched. Yep. Good job there by Bun. Yeah. 
Will be a pitch to the left. He does have a lot of room. Mm -hmm. He Get falls forward. He might have picked up enough for a first down. He does. That time, Ollie, the outside linebacker, is not supposed to allow that guy to get around him, and he, he fell for the fake he did. to allow that quarterback to come, come around him and, and get that yards that he did. There's a, I bet that is an amazing conversation right there. Oh, I'm sure. Guthrie and Langdon. Yeah. I'm sure. Our next, our next uh, Netflix special about <laughs> sign stealing in the middle <laughs> school program. <laughs> That's what they're doing, yeah. <laughs> Collinwood will have it first and 10 from Summertown's 49. Ball will be handed off around the left side. Will be brought down for a loss of one, it looks like. Couldn't tell who all was in on that yeah, tackle. It's hard to tell how far. I know, I think uh, Max Chapman had an initial hit. But I don't. I can't. It was hard to tell us who finished them off. Here's the uh, Summertown side. Wondering who all's here. We got a decent little student section. I don't know if they're paying attention. It that looks much, like they're all on their phones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That will be second down and eleven from the fifty. Yeah, my daughter's got her back turned to the game. She's she chit. Just, no, she's she's chit chatting with people in the booth. Yeah. <laughs> She's seen the camera looking at her wheel, and she said, hey, yep. <laughs> ball will be overthrown. Pass will be incomplete. Even if that was completed, that was – Wilson was right on him. He, yeah, wasn't, he, he was. wasn't going nowhere. We'll be third and 11. Again, folks, I'm sorry for the uh, bad, bad connection tonight. We've tried everything. I'm not sure what's going on. This very unusual – Joe, I think the play before, I think Zane's the one that made that tackle. I think Maddox started the tackle, and Zane finished him off. Over there on that other side? Yeah, on that far Might side. I have. I couldn't tell who was in, who was in on it. Because they both just ran off the field, and I think that's, I think that's who was on it. It is third and 11 from the 50. Will be nobody there. Incomplete pass again. Make it fourth and eleven. Three Eagles defensemen in the in the backfield, causing the overthrow. I was going to say that was. It. I don't know if that was all three of our defensive linemen that got in the backfield or two, but it was. I think it was three of the four. I think the only one that wasn't there was Wheeler. It looked like Mason and Workman were in there. You know. There again, good job by our defensive line getting pressure. It's been the story of the game. They've, they, our line has had pressure both sides of the football. Especially after that first drive. I don't know what the coaches said to them, but it worked. Whatever, yeah, whatever was said worked for sure. He will drop back to pass, throw it deep down the sideline, will be incomplete. That'll be a turnover on downs. For Summertown will take over on the 50. For a middle school kid, that was a good throw. He that was, I mean, he threw it probably 30 yards yeah, there. That's a good throw for a middle school kid. And he is a seventh grader, their quarterback. Wow. I'm not going to try to say his name. It's last name's Robinson. <laughs> So what's Summertown going to do here? Going to hand it off up the middle. He will be stopped at the line of scrimmage. To a wave of green. Looks like Eli Taylor and Zane Kelton are coming into the, into the game for uh, Max Chapman and Mason Flowers. Yeah, Coach Wood still doing a good job well. keeping them fresh legs up there on the line of scrimmage. You know, them two have been – they've pretty much been swapping out those two for the other two each every three or four plays all game.
Can't really sub Workman out when we're on offense. He's our center up there. He he's had a good night on his nose tackle too. He has that hole. That play's been there all night, all night. Good job there. <coughs> White picks up about 13 on that one. He needs to buy his offensive lineman some Sonic on the way home. There you go. Be another eagle first down. Who's little number 12 coming in? That is Aiden Hammock. He comes in for Tasian White. We've got four kids that white jerseys is one number and blue jerseys are another number, so. Oh. I had to look down there and figure out which number. Looks like Hammock will line up as a tight end and Anderson goes back to running back. He'll take the ball up the middle. He'll pick up about five on that carry, or four maybe. They bring Tajian White back in and bring in Lucas Taylor. So about, so about Anderson. I believe they gotta bring one more off. Looks like Collinwood called a timeout. 3.12 to go. Collinwood will take a timeout. 22 to six. Let's see if the score is, what does it Mustangs show? Mustangs is up 20 to 16 now. Oh. They, look like they just recovered an onside look kick? Looks like they just recovered an onside kick. Well. So the Mustangs have just recovered. Okay. Good game there. We'll, we'll do one quick commercial before uh, we come back. we we'll right back. Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg has a legacy of being a family-owned and operated company. Since 1927, our business has grown and evolved into today's one-stop source for all your automotive supplies. But in that time, one thing has stayed the same, and that's our commitment to our customers and their needs. At Volco Auto Supply, you'll find everything for your car, truck, or even fleet of vehicles, but with good, old-fashioned customer service the way it needs to be. That's Volco Auto Supply, 416 Buffalo Road in Lawrenceburg. Visit VolcoAuto.com. All right, we're back. We've got the ball about second and six in Collinwood's 33-yard line. 312 to go in the fourth quarter. Will be a quarterback keep around the left side. He's got plenty of room. One man to beat. Will be tripped uh, up about the two-yard line. See if they give him the one there. That was a nice block by Sam White downfield. That let that let Lincoln go for, get further down the field. There it is. They do give him the one-yard line, so we do have the ball at the one. There's Sam White on the ground. <laughs> he took out the corner. Yeah. Will be first and goal from the one. Looks like Wilson's done for the day. Yeah, after that hit, I, I don't, I don't think I'd put him. Does he seem okay either. though? Like it's just kind of. Yeah, he's giving hugs. I think yeah. he's all right. I think they just they decided to pull him with uh, two two less than three minutes to go in the game. Kind of like what Joe was saying after that. <laughs> That's, that athletic you know, attempt, you don't want to hurt them. Your starting quarterback there, you really don't like to see that when it's, like, you know, the end of the game is kind of like this. We did fumble that snap, but we were able to recover. Who would you say took over at quarterback? It's number 19, Sam White. Sam White. Will be second and goal from about the two. They didn't have football here when his parents were at Summertown. His dad was never afraid to shoot it. In that 2003 state tournament team. We do have Anderson in the backfield. Ooh, he has hit hard as soon as he's handed the ball there by about five. He didn't Collinwood have Collinwood lineman. He didn't have a chance right there. He did not. About they, third and three here. On, no, he did not have a chance, Carl. He 
Collinwood's got all their big boys up front right there. Yeah, and they're stacking the box no. again with like everybody. 72, 75, 62, 66, 56, 50. And we're just taking our time with this big lead like that. Yeah, we're down to a minute. Well, Colin was not wasting any. We're not taking their timeouts either, so. It's under a minute to go. Oh, he's got that. He will right keep it around the right field. side. Oh. A little stutter there step. There you go. He'll step in for a Summertown touchdown. One man to beat, and he beat him. Lyman was able to hold him back there long enough for him to get around the edge. Brings your score 28 to 6. I'm sure we'll go for two. I've never seen us try to kick a field goal. <laughs> now, since <laughs> did, did we try one to Zion or was it just the punts? All right, Carl, you're going to work with your we, kid all offseason, so he's ready to kick extra points. We struggled year. with the punts. All right. Zion. I'll, I'll try. That's your job on the offseason is to make your kid a kicker. It looks, looks like we ran Colt Peary out there to be on the offensive line for this play. Handed off up the middle to Anderson. Looked to me like he got in, but I don't know. I think they're going to have to come in and look at it. No, nope, they're saying they're no. They're going to say no good. They say no. Uh -huh. All right, 28-6, 45 seconds to go. We'll play just another commercial or two. We'll be right back. LUS is committed to our customers, from providing and maintaining energy-efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. Welcome back. Summertown will kick off to Collinwood here. 45 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. We won't see an onside kick here. Or he fired away. Be a pooch kick over there on the left side. Get a bounce. He'll field it about the 30. Nice cut. Oh. And he will. Off to the races. Yep. Get by a lot of the defenders there. Got one man chasing him. He <laughs> tells <laughs> down leave it. He tripped him up about the 16 yard line. Good hustle there. I don't know who that was. 16. It's Connor Staggs. Connor Staggs. Nice hustle by him. Uh, yeah. He never gave up. He, say, he saved another touchdown. Good yeah. job there. Way to not give up. I'm look, sure he we'll he had to run backwards to retrieve that kick. I thought he wasn't going to get much out of it. I'm sure we'll see a lot of different numbers out here on defense they, it's gonna be hard to keep up with everybody mm, i see uh timeout by summertown they're trying to get the second the second uh second they, string in they're having issues with uh, who's in and who's out they don't look like we have but one defensive lineman out there <laughs> <laughs> is there a fifth quarter tonight? there's 13 there's 13 players i don't know field. um i don't think there is because i think they got the uh junior varsity game monday from what uh, what I heard, they're playing. Game. They're playing oh, a junior playing, varsity game here. We're playing Waynesboro Monday at home. Junior well, varsity. Yeah, high school. Yeah, junior yeah, varsity. Ju yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. We're playing yeah, after sorry. high school. Oh, really? Yeah, against Waynesboro. Middle. Okay. All right. That's what it said in the message I got the other day. All right. Looks like we might have it dialed up here. There's a Wiseman out there. There's a Grammatico out there. There's a Hammock out there. I think I see a Taylor out there. Look at that close up. They're, they're a bun. 
Jax Howell. John Lovett. Is that He's open. Pass will be called at the one. He'll get in for the touchdown. Pretty sure that might have been Grammatical's man right there. I think he got caught looking in the backfield. Collinwood will score there. We'll be 28 to 12. Twenty-seven seconds left. You got kids trying to make sure their shoulder pads are strapped out there. They're probably just a little nervous. What do you think? Probably. Hopefully they're having fun though, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Will be a quarterback key. Uh, he's in. He'll get in for the two-point conversion, make it 14 to 28. They cut it to – brought it in to – Well, let's talk about the um, the next next week's schedule. So, as we mentioned, let's see if we got an update from that game. Looks like Mustangs – to 16. Yeah, Mustangs, Mustangs are going to take that one, it looks like. So, Wayne County thumped us pretty good last week. Wayne, uh, Loretta just beat them. And then we host Loretto Thursday night. this coming Thursday. So uh, Summertown knows that there's a um, you know, good team that's going to be coming in to their field. They've got a lot of, lot of work to do. Um, I guarantee you Wes Woods will be studying that film that we're showing here tonight, the, the Waynesboro coverage of that, oh, I'm sure. that Loretto film. And uh, we're going to come out um, ready for them. Um, that not sure if it'll be streamed or not because Lawrence County and Giles County high school football have moved their game to Thursday night. And so that's one of the exports crews that'll be taken up. And then high school and middle school volleyball are both playing at Perry County. And so somebody will probably have to stream that one. And so if we have anybody left over, uh, maybe we can get that middle school football game done. But, um, Especially since it's an in-county county rivalry, you know. But um, this, at this point, we don't know. A lot going on that night. We need to be ready for an onside kick. Yes. Collinwood was able to cut the score in half there. Still two, two possessions behind. Good job there by Hammock. All right, so Summertown will be going to victory formation here. Mm -hmm. Running out this clock. As Collinwood does have and two timeouts left, but I don't know if they'll use them or not here. I wouldn't think so. So this will make Summertown a 500 team. Two and yes. two for the season with three games to go after this. Those three games are against um, Richland, um, Loretta, Battle, and Battle, Creek. Battle Creek, and Loretta. And we know Richland's pretty good. I think they're undefeated. So uh, I don't know anything about Battle Creek, but there's, it doesn't sound like there's any easy ones left. Richland, I did see, was playing Mount Pleasant tonight, I believe. So we don't play Mount Pleasant, I think. No. It. Okay. And Richland and Mount Pleasant both are undefeated. Okay, that'll be a, a, that would have been a good one to cover. We're going to go to victory formation, kneel it mm -hmm. down there, and that will be the end of the ball game. Well, that's it. So your Summertown Eagles are uh, two and two. Uh, we had a touchdown reception from a Burleson tonight. We did. A touchdown pass from uh, Wilson. Uh, I would, don't you think, Carl, that the uh, the linemen deserve some shout-outs tonight? They absolutely. do, most they, definitely. They all do. Offense and defensive line, they just they absolutely dominate this game. Anybody that played offensive and defensive line tonight for the Eagles done a great job. Mm -hmm. They did. They dominated the line of scrimmage. Really, the only people that didn't do a good job tonight was us uh, well, with our uh, terrible hotspot connections tonight. So, again, we apologize for that. We'll be uploading a copy tonight on the Summertown YouTube page. Don't you. blame that on us, Will. That was AT&T, Verizon. Uh, and all, all of them messed up tonight. It was tonight. all their fault, yeah. not ours. So, that will be uploaded tonight to the Summertown YouTube page, and um, you'll have a nice high-def version uninterrupted to watch all these great plays tonight. So uh, this has been Carl Grammatico.
Joe Calton, Will Pettis, thank you guys. Great job. And um, Thank you, Will. Yeah, maybe, lot, lots of fun. Yeah. Maybe, lots of fun. Maybe we'll be back Thursday. If not, it'll be the week after that. But, all right, you've been watching uh, Summertown Victory here at Collinwood tonight. This has been Middle School Football on the Exports Network. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X. Ex-